Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Good morning, Maniacs. In today's video, we're going to be installing the side walls. Woo! We're going to be putting pieces of plywood against the walls so you can't see the insulation along the walls. So, let's get to it. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boss. said we are going to be putting up our walls today so it's going to be the wood that goes on the sides to cover up this insulation that we just did as you can see sitting out there on this beautiful spring day when it is probably 95 degrees outside here in Houston we decided to go with four by eight 15 30 seconds which is about half an inch sanded pine plywood we decided to go with this stuff for two reasons we will be using half inch plywood for our walls to try to save on space and also on money. The plywood can get pretty expensive, especially if you're getting a real fancy kind, but most of this walls that are going on this part is going to be covered up by something, so we're not going to see it. So we used a lower grade, I guess, that was a little bit cheaper, and then we decided to go half inch where we could go because the spray foam insulation is pretty much all the way up to the furring strips and is very supportive and will save a little bit of weight going with that half an inch rather than the three-fourths. We're gonna get to it. Famous last words. Hold up. In order to install the walls, I'm gonna have to cut the wood from one side to the other side along the long side. Doing that by eye, for me, it's fairly difficult. So what most people use is a saw track. We don't have one, so I'm gonna make one. Basically what I have right here is a one eighth by one and a half piece of aluminum that is eight feet long. Drill it into the wood along the side, making sure that it's straight all the way through. And then I'm just gonna cut one swipe, making sure to always be here on the side. By doing that, I basically have a saw track that I can use and replicate straight lines on any other pieces of wood that we have here today. studs are behind the wall. The main furring strips go right along with the window line, so that one will be easy, but when it gets down to the bottom, there's some that are shifted. So what we're doing is we're taking a marker or a pen or something, and we're just drawing a line out. So once we put the wall up, that marker is still right there on the ground so we know where that bottom one is. We got this little kit that helps you find where your outlets are and match up the square perfectly. We'll show you how it works, but this is the kit that we got. So we're doing our test piece right now, and then we're gonna get it up and have some sort of system in mind, hopefully after that.
So first step is measuring and cutting your wood to fit the space. Then step two is if you have anything behind it, like an outlet or something, is locating that hole and then cutting one for it to fit on perfectly. And that's where the kit that I showed you comes in handy. So this kit is very simple to use. It comes with three of these and one of these. They have an upwards arrow on both. Basically what you're supposed to do is put this in here and then it'll go ahead and match it over here on the outside and draw that circle and now you know where to cut has this two little prongs in here which go in where the screws would go wires in there so now you place this on here and you're gonna go ahead and put the wall up exactly where you want it to be is that good mm -hmm. and now you have this facing up this is going to tell you where it is now you have it you can do it either with a sharpie or with a pen or pencil I'm decided to do a Sharpie because it gives you a wider edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw around it. Now we get this over there, take the drill and the jigsaw and cut that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in all four corners so that I can go ahead and place the uh, jigsaw in there and make a square hole so that we can cut it, go ahead and cut this piece out. Is it good? Oh, you gotta be no. Oh no, that's good. Is it? So as you saw, that worked pretty well. We just need to, remember we had those adjustable boxes? We just need to screw it out a little bit so it will meet the plywood. So the next thing we'll do is we will pre-drill a couple holes to put some screws in. We have those plates over our wires and we have marked the furring strips on the ground so we know where they are after we put the wood up. Then we'll screw it in and be good to go. So we have a metal plate behind here because there are wires that are going through here, but we don't want to just be drilling into metal plates and then have holes in this wall. So we went ahead and just put a small dot with a Sharpie where the holes are, uh, where the metal plates are. So we know not to physically drill in that general area. And then over here, we have one small strip right here and we drew two uh, marks over here would let, which lets us know how wide it is and as long as I put it in the middle of those two marks it should be fine perfect day perfect day perfect day perfect day perfect So what we're gonna do right now is explain to you how we installed two-way switches, two-way specifically toggle switches. 
before you do anything else, you need to buy on on switches, not on off on or on off, specifically on on switches. They will look like this, and they'll have three prongs, but again, make sure they are on on switches. In order to run your lights, you're gonna have to do something like this. This right here is gonna be the switch. This right here is gonna be the other switch. It has three prongs. All you need to do first is run a wire that will go from prong A to prong A and prong C to prong C. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just connecting A and C. Then what you're going to need to do is run a wire from the battery to prong B. And then run a wire from your prong B of the other one to your light bulb. Once you do that, you should have two way switches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you in practicality how it actually works. This is the two way switch. So if you see right here, we have A and C, two black wires that will go directly to A and C over there. Don't worry about which one it falls on because it, it shouldn't matter. You shouldn't have to mark it A and C and then mark the wire. Don't worry about doing that. I thought about doing that for a long time, but in practicality, it doesn't really matter. So as long as you have two wires, run to your other side, this one right here is the one that's coming from the battery. It's going into the one in the middle, as you can see right here. So A, B, and C. B is the one from the battery, it's your load one. Then this one will carry the load to the other switch. If you see right here, I have A, B, and C. I have the ones that are carrying the load right here. And then this one right here, I went ahead and connect it to the wire that has the lights. Ideally, if in a perfect world, everything worked perfectly, you would have two red wires over here and one red wire over here. Everything would be a red wire because everything is positive. Um, but we ran out of red wire, so we're just making sure that we understand that none of these are grand wires, none of these are uh, negative wires. They're all positive red wires, okay? Now that I have that, this one should work. The way we are testing it, we know that all these connections already work because we have tested this one on all the connections straight from the battery and it turned on every single time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hold it onto the battery and show you that this light switches work by turning this light on and off. So if you can see the light over there is turned off Going to go ahead and flip the switch and it'll turn on, turn off and on. And now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. You see the light is on. I'm going to go ahead and get my toggle switch, turn it off, on, off, on. So, that is how you install two way toggle switches. Now, we're going to go ahead and install the two way switches on the hallway lights. Because we weren't sure exactly how to do it beforehand, we we're going to have to cut some wires out and run just one more wire to a different connection so we can go ahead and um, make sure that it works properly. So that's uh, this is us doing that.
Det er opkom. Okay, er det hvad? Jamen, så er det Yeah. Keep going. Very cool. Perfect day. 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 see all of it because the rest of our wood is in the way. We have this side done, but you can't see it because our scraps are in the way. <laughs> this side is pretty cool because this is the biggest wall where it covers up all the windows. This spot right here is going to be where the shower is. So that will be the wonder board. So we didn't put anything there. We did this wall here. This wall and this back wall is done too. You just can't see it. We did them as high as we could, but we left a gap back here so we could fit any ceiling planks that we need to back there or still, or still be able to get to any wires that we need to by pulling them up through here and working on them. A lot of our connections will stay accessible because they'll be sticking out. But we also did it that high so it looks like the walls are taller and it makes everything feel higher up. All right, guys. So that is how we installed our walls for our side walls. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you find it informational, educational, uh, or entertaining, any one of those. There are a lot of different ways to do it. This is the way that we decided to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big, big, big thumbs up. If there's any tips you want to give anybody else or uh, anything that we kind of did wrong that you want us to kind of be aware of, or if you just want to give us encouragements, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you are, thank you so much for subscribing. We could not appreciate you more. It, uh, Let's us know that you are enjoying these videos and that you want to see more. And if you do enjoy these videos or if you enjoy what we do, you can catch more of our stuff on our social medias at uh, gus.gps and those will all be linked below and on the screen right here so you can follow us there. And as always, don't forget to enjoy your life. Stay positive. And keep going places. Suck, Suck up! up!